Tara, Johnny, thank you for doing this. Let's first get into your reaction to being in the city of Columbus. First time ever this championship has come to our city. What's your reaction to coming to a new city and just further growing the sport, turning new eyeballs, getting more kids an opportunity to see this firsthand? That's what it's all about. When I was a little kid, I would come to these events and watch my idols on the ice and hope that someday I could replicate what they were doing. So for us, we always want more people, more eyeballs on figure skating. And I may be a little biased, but I'm very excited that Nationals is in Ohio. My husband, born and raised in Ohio. So we have the, you know, the like connection there. Okay, we got to talk about that. Where is he from? He's from Cleveland, so okay. Perry, Ohio. So Okay, where do you go to high school? Perry. Perry High School. Yes. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> this is huge news. We're breaking it. No yeah. one knew this. All right, let's talk about you guys and the the not only the cult following you have been able to develop over the years, but your relationship with each other. We feel it watching you. We see the dynamic. We see the energy, the connection that you two have. Is it natural? Did it just did it come out all along? or is it something that just took time behind microphones to develop that? No, it definitely did not take time. Mm -hmm. I think it was one of those things that was just meant to be from the moment that we started this job together. It wasn't forced, it just was this very organic, genuine relationship that we built. Mm -hmm. And now we're at the point a decade later where we're almost as one. Yeah. And the trust and the loyalty and the friendship is, I couldn't ask for a better job. I love figure skating. Mm -hmm. I love to talk about figure skating than to get to be able to do it with Johnny. It really doesn't get better than that. I mean, to be fair, when we first started, when I first started commentating, Tara had already been commentating for a while. Mm -hmm. We were waiting around in a studio late at night to call an event from Canada. And yeah. it was a quick turnaround. And we just started talking about handbags. <laughs> and the world that we come from is a very high level competitive sport that comes yeah. down to six minutes of your life to display everything you've ever worked for, it's cutthroat. And we don't really come from a place where it's easy to make friends. And it was just this instantaneous connection mm -hmm. and trust, which is such a rare thing for both of us, just in the mm -hmm. way that we grew up. And um, we've been through some crazy big life events mm -hmm. together. I mean, divorce, success, failure, the pregnancy journey. Yeah. And I mean, <laughs> we, we share everything, as, as much of a connection as people feel on screen, it's just the same off. And, and we are so lucky as we've seen so many broadcast teams that can, you know, don't even look at each other when they're working. <laughs> exactly. So for us, like, we know how lucky we are, how blessed we are. And our main goal when we do our job mm -hmm. is that when people invite us into the living rooms, they're happy about that decision because they feel like they're part of the team. They do. I think that people connect with you. And the other thing that I think that people respond to most when they come to watch us, they come to watch your broadcast. They want to see what you're wearing. <laughs> so from a fashion we're standpoint, we're, right yeah, you're, sorry, you're, you're, we're, we're pre-show right but now. But you're warming up yeah, to the big up. event yes. tonight. Correct. But you're already, look at you, man. I mean, look, this is well, unbelievable. Thank you. I mean, you know, just a little head to toe cashmere keeps me toasty in these cold rinks. Who wears head to toe cashmere? <laughs> I don't know. I've never seen it. Johnny Weir you are does. one of one. Well, thank you. And well, just wait until you see what we've got. I mean, mm -hmm. my hairstylist, she's like, we have special crystals for the show, but only the show. We can't do it for this interview. So you guys, again, please tune in because you're going to see the crystals in my hair. Where is she from? Poland. Oh, I thought that was a Cincinnati accent. That's incredible. <laughs> what, a, what an upset. And what do you have planned tonight? Oh, uh, we match. Well, also, I mean, I'm sure you know this, but we the team matches. Of course. So we are, and uh, we don't even talk about it at this point. We just show up show with up our with luggage. Show up with all of our options. It's organic. Yeah. And then we just figure out what's going to be the best match for the night. Okay. It's just, it's on. Oh, by the way. Two years away from Olympic Games. Let me ask you one last thing about the competition here. These ladies are getting ready for the biggest show on earth two years from now. Right. That's a lot of pressure now, but you know what it's like in two years. You both lived it. How different is it when you get to an Olympic year? Well, an Olympic year is the most pressure filled year of the the Olympic quad. Mm -hmm. You have four years. The first year after Olympics, you have some time. But we're already getting to the point right now where you want to set the tone. You want the judges to take notice of you. You want to make a name for yourself so that next year, and then obviously the Olympic year, you're viewed as a favorite to make that Olympic team. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of pressure on these skaters starting now. Yeah. And for our sport, I mean, it very much is. Just as, as much as being prepared physically and athletically, it's, it's a political campaign. You have to show that you're the best skater for the United States to put forward. You are the strongest, the most consistent, doing the most interesting elements, have the best personality. I mean, it's not us against a stopwatch, it's us against a panel of judges. Yeah. So you just have to put your best foot forward and, and show who you are now so that you're thought of for them. But also, like, as you're watching skating, just every time you see somebody perform a long program, realize that their entire life 
has led up to that moment. Six minutes in front of the world, it comes down to if you can deliver in those six minutes or not. And um, that's a lot of pressure, but skaters are tough as nails. Yeah. I mean, this, we're prepared we for that pressure. We wear very pretty outfits, but mm -hmm. underneath it, there's there's some iron. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's the scars you see and the scars you don't. And there's so much that, that kids, especially the, some of these are children, some of these are young people, mm -hmm wearing all of that pressure that's not much to expect from kids but also you all live through it and look at you now right <laughs> i mean i was 15 when i won the olympics right. so i i firsthand can tell you that there's a lot of pressure and even though you're young you're still feeling it but it's a job to many of these skaters that you'll see they've given up so much they've sacrificed so much of their life their childhood waking up and going into a rink early morning and training all day for this one moment and this national championships is the biggest event for so many of the skaters that you'll see here yeah. so it's it's really special to be able to commentate and and watch them live out their dreams and i can say it does sound really treacherous and really like too much to put on a kid's shoulders but i think looking back neither of us would change Never. the way we grew up really yeah oh, okay no. this has taught us so much about hard work about being determined about working for the things you want in this world it gave us an education we traveled the world we've seen it all we've done it all and um i you know, that versus like trying to fight to sit at the popular kids table at lunch. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we, we had an amazing yeah. childhood. It's, Overrated. Exactly. <laughs> it's not that awesome. Thank you for taking the time Thank to do you. this. Thank you. And I, I want you to know, I dressed up. This is my best suit, my best you, you tie. You look great. I tried so hard for you. We knew it. Walking up the steps, we were like, he looks nice. Yeah. Handsome, dressed. Yeah. I, Snazzy. I, I, I just tried my Thank Nailed you for it. tolerating it. Yeah. <laughs>